Hey all, so today I'm going to make a video about studying and exam tips and tricks and stuff like that because if you didn't know I'm in my last year of school I have to do like my big exams in like two months or something. Also my neighbour's dog is fucking barking so if you can hear that I apologise I'm about to go over and hit it over the head with a shovel. Yeah I'm in my last year of school my big exams are in like like eight weeks or something so I'm studying seven subjects I'm doing English, Irish, Maths, History, Biology, Spanish and art I'm doing art as well so I just thought I would talk to you a little bit about like how I'm studying and stuff because I'm literally like the worst at studying I hate studying so much but I know that like I have to do it in Ireland you do like your like mock exams so you kind of like get an idea of like how good you're doing like what you need to improve on and stuff so for my mock exams I got 378 points which is like good like the average is like 360 or something but the course that I want to do I need 420 points so I do kind of need to put in a bit more work you know what I mean so yeah them exams are in like two months before that I've done my junior cert which you know if you're not from Ireland I'm just gonna kind of explain it Oh, also, I didn't know if I said it, I'm doing all higher level subjects except for maths because I'm literally so awful at maths. I started off doing higher level maths, but I had to drop because it was too hard. So when I was doing my junior cert, literally the only thing that I did to study was exam papers. Exam papers like these, you can get them from like all bookshops. They're like six or seven euro and they literally are just like all of the past exams. So you can just like practice and it's literally the best thing ever. You just do the questions and if there's something you don't know, literally Google it or look it up in your book and then you know it. Like it's literally the most effective way to study and that's literally all I do. Also, if you have like, if you're doing maths exam papers, I really recommend that you buy the solution book because it literally has step by step how you do each question. If you're doing oral exams, I really recommend that you buy like little flashcards like these and write down like all the information that you need on them. These are my ones for Spanish and then I have my ones for Irish as well. You should just write the question that the examiner will ask and then like the answer and then just learn it, like just learn the keywords that you need to say. And you really break everything down, it does become a lot easier, like it's not so overwhelming when you break down like, oh this is what I need to know and this is how I can learn it, like it makes everything just so much easier. The hardest subject that I probably have to do is like history because you have to write five, no, no that's not right, three essays or something I think, I actually don't know, I'm so, I'm so bad, but you have to write like a lot of essays and there's like 20 different essay titles that could come up so you need to like learn all of them and learn all the information so it's a lot of stuff to learn so i'm kind of like stressed about that <laughs> if you're in your junior cert year like the junior cert doesn't really mean anything except like you do want to try hard because if you are not doing well in your subjects at junior cert at like higher level you'll have to drop to ordinary level and ordinary level subjects you get less points in your leaving cert for than higher level People are always like, oh, the junior cert doesn't matter, but it does matter because it does determine what level you're going to be doing for your leaving cert, which is important. Like, you want to be doing higher level subjects if you can handle it. So for, like, languages, I do Spanish and I do Irish. I will literally record on my phone me speaking Spanish. <laughs> I'll record myself, like, saying what I need to say for my oral, or I'll just record myself saying an essay in Irish on my phone and literally put my earphones in and play it back. And it helps you remember things like... I don't know if it's just me but I have a really good memory and if I'm listening to a song I can like learn all the lyrics after like listening to it three times so I literally download that and listen to it every single day and then just you know learn it it just goes into my brain I don't know if that will be the same for everybody but you should try it out it's really helpful yeah so my biggest tip is to use exam papers they're just so helpful and um, you can like ask your teacher to like grade them and everything so you know what you like did right and did wrong and if you're doing maths definitely go and pick up these I think that they are about like nine or ten euro which like is kind of expensive but you only need to buy one set so it's fine and if you're doing art take your time with your projects like there's no need to rush like you have so much time and even if it comes to like the closing date because there is a deadline if it comes to like near the end of that your teacher will like stay back after school with you to like help you and give you the extra time that you need so just take your time like you don't want to rush through things like I really really rushed my junior cert art project and I literally ripped it up and threw it in the bin because I hated it because it, like the more time that you spend on something the better it is so if you are doing art take the time to like really just go over everything and like make sure that everything looks good you know yeah I'm playing with my Tamagotchi. I also wanted to talk a little bit about like tips for like during exam season like when your exams are actually on. So during this time you really want to get like a lot of sleep because exams lead to stress and stress causes your body to release adrenaline which like keeps you awake or something. So you need to like sleep so that your body like regenerates you know what I mean. You want to be getting like eight or nine hours sleep a night like while you're doing your exams so that your brain can like function properly for your exam like recall information. I got a snapchat.
Also, during your exams, you do want to eat, like, really healthy. Like, eat fruit and stuff, like, it helps your brain. This just became a mukbang. Drink water, like, as much as you can. Like, water literally is the best thing for your brain. It, like, refreshes your brain, just makes your brain work. So you should be drinking water all the time. Like, I drink, like, three liters of water a day. But especially during, like, exams, you want to, like, bring water into your exams. Like, when you're going home, just drink water while you're studying and everything, just to keep your brain, like, going. Thanks! <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. You really want to plan out, like, when you're going to study, like, certain subjects and stuff. Because. Because if you're, like, not planning and you're just, like, oh, I don't, like... If you're, you'll, you're not organized and you're going to be like stressing out, you're going to be like, I don't know what to do. And then you won't study certain things because you'll forget about it and you'll miss it and stuff. So make a study plan. So if you're like not in fifth or sixth year and you haven't picked your subjects yet, don't pick fucking history. It is so much information to fucking remember. It's not good. Like I literally loved history in like the junior search and then like literally in fifth and sixth year I was like, Fuck. You also really just don't want to stress about your exams. Like, if you're doing your junior cert, once again, it doesn't really matter. You do want to try your best, you know? Like, everybody wants to get good marks, so... Just try your best. But there's no point in, like, stressing yourself out over it, you know? Final tip. Studying with a friend is really, really helpful. Like, if you're doing your orals, go to your friend's house and ask them questions and they can ask you. Like, the more you practice, the better you'll get. My... Irish oral is literally in like two weeks or something that's why I'm like really talking about the orals but yeah it's really helpful to do that and to go study with a friend like go to the library with your friend literally me and my friends teach each other like I'm like I don't understand this like I need you to tell me and they will so you know like use your friends <laughs> like take that information and this is just for me like I don't know if anybody else is the same but I cannot study in like a messy environment like have a clean room have a clean like desk space like wherever you're going to be studying needs to be clean because when like it's organized, your mind is organized, you know what I mean? You might be saying to yourself that, oh, exams aren't important, but like, you do want to do well, like, everybody wants to get good marks, so I do encourage you to try your best. That's kind of all I have to say for this video. I hope that you found it helpful in some way. Um, you'll maybe incorporate one of my tips into your fucking daily study plan. I know this video was kind of random, but I was just like, thought it was a good idea. I've been studying all day, so I was like, I may as well share my tips with the world. All my social medias will be linked down below if you want to come follow me. My Instagrams are pretty good times, so catch you there. Give this video a thumbs up if you found like anything in it helpful, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'll see you guys in my next video.